When you make a drawing, it is designed in some sort of linear measurement. Most of the world uses the metric system, while other places like the United States use the imperial system of feet and inches. AutoCAD doesn't really know what those units are. It only sees generic units. Drawing units are relative to AutoCAD. It will only interpret the units when you go to print your drawing or when inserting other AutoCAD files or blocks. It will translate your drawing's units to fit the way you want to look on paper. AutoCAD will take your line work and apply it to a scale factor when it prints. It will take the size of the paper you are printing on and scale your drawing objects accordingly. When you draw, make sure to know what units you are using. Your units can be anything. In fact, they can be feet or they can be inches. They can be meters, kilometers, or even parsecs. It doesn't matter. What does matter is that you draw to full scale or to real scale, and you only draw in one unit. There is a units setting in AutoCAD where you can define or at least declare what your drawing units will be. To do it, just type in units on your command line. This will bring up your drawing units window. Here you will designate the type of units that blocks will be inserted in or other drawings. It also sets up the way your units will be displayed while working in AutoCAD. You can Choose from your length or your angle settings, and then your insertion scale. The insertion scale is where you declare, essentially, the type of units you are using. In this case, this drawing is drawing in inches. If you pick on the box, you can see all of the different objects you have. You can make it unitless, which I suggest you never, ever do. It will just confuse AutoCAD and you, especially when you go to print or to insert other AutoCAD files. Pick something, commit to it. <laughs> so this file is set to inches. You can also draw them as feet, miles, millimeters, centimeters, meters, kilometers, micro inches, mils, yards, angstroms, nanometers, microns, decimeters, decameters, hectometers, gigameters, an astronomical unit, which is the distance from the Earth to the sun, light years, or even parsecs. I think all I've ever done is inches, feet, millimeters, to be quite honest. It will depend on your design genre and what you're drawing and how you need it drawn. This shows you how everything will be outputted or how it's going to look when you draw. It's simple enough and fairly straightforward. Now, your length type is up here. This will define several different things. You can choose from engineering, scientific, architectural, fractional, or even decimal. Each one works a little bit differently. The architectural and engineering display notations assuming that you are working in inches, and it will display your units in feet and inches. When you draw with either of these settings, an object of a unit length of one will be one inch long. A length of 12 units will be 12 inches long. Yeah, 12 inches is the same as one foot, but AutoCAD will only see it as being 12 inches. It is smart enough, though, and can interpret 12 inches to be one foot, and will display it as such. It will display it as one foot dash zero inches long. Architectural format will display fractions of an inch in fractional form, while the engineering setting displays them as decimals of an inch. So in architectural format, if I draw a line, pick a point, and I tell it to go 12 or 1, it will say 1 unit that direction. That object is 1 unit long. Now I can lengthen it, and to make it over 12 units, as you can see, AutoCAD is smart enough, it tells me it's 1 foot 9 and 13 sixteenths of an inch long. That's how long it is. I can change this display setting. I can switch from architectural to decimal. So now when I select the object and see how big it is, it tells me that it's 21.82372 units long, which is 1 foot 9 inches, etc. So depending on how you want to work and on what you're doing, if you need to work with inches, 
and you need decimals, maybe you're working in a machine environment and you're going to be machining surfaces, that may be what you want to do. But if you're working as an architect, you're definitely going to want to use the architectural settings. Typically, a civil engineer will work in the decimals. And typically, if you're working with metric, you're going to want the decimal setting. Now, switching from one unit type or insertion scale to another won't change your line work. It won't automatically interpret this drawing as from going from inches to millimeters. As you can see, it's going to give you an error message. This is still the same length. But when I go to insert a block or to insert another CAD file from someone else, it will just see the units as being metric and will automatically scale that object for me. So you need to make sure that's correct or else it will scale it and interpret it incorrectly. So that's what you need to do here is to make sure this is set properly. You know, you also have angle settings. They are the decimal degrees, which we'll use most often, degrees, minutes, second, which if you're a surveyor, you might want to do that. But they have survey units, which is very unique to a surveyor. You have gradients and radians. Typically, you're going to use either the decimal degrees or the degrees, minutes, seconds. The survey units look a little bit different. They go with northing and easting units. Now you have your precision settings. This is how precise the AutoCAD will display the length of your objects. You can go to a half inch, quarter inch, eighth of an inch, all the way down to one two hundred and fifty sixth of an inch if you're in architectural form. If you go to decimals, it's how many decimal places past the decimal that it's going to be. Otherwise, it will just round up to any of these units. So be careful. Depending on what you need to do and how you need to do it is where you need to set your precision to. The angles are the same way. I can go to as many degrees, minutes, seconds that I need to. One of the problems with AutoCAD is that it can be so extremely precise. You can draw much more precisely typically than what you can ever build. So keep that in mind. And just because that you can draw something in AutoCAD, it doesn't mean that you can build it that way.